Hi guys, I'm Xigen again and I would like to welcome you to the municipality of Bungabong in the province of Oriental Mindoro. Bungabong is around 100 kilometers of air distance from Manila. The town's territory has an area of around 404 square kilometers. It is mostly an agricultural land just like Aklan, my home province. Since it is also a coastal town, fishing is also one of the sources of living here. It has 36 barangays and I am currently here in the town proper, Barangay Poblacion. As I am doing my research, I've learned from the renowned historians of Mindoro that this town has something interesting. Bongabong is a historic town. In the early part of the 17th century, when the Philippines was ruled by the Spaniards, Jesuit missionaries built a big concrete church and fortress in Barangay Anilao, Bongabong, Oriental Mindoro. That settlement in Anilao is named Kuta. Jesuits built that structure to protect them and the Christian townsfolks from the attacks of the Moros and the Muslims. It is also served as a garrison for the Spanish soldiers. At this present time, the relic or the remnants of the Kuta shrine can still be seen. It is 17 kilometers away from the Poblacion of Bongabong. Let me take you there. This is the ruins of the Kuta Shrine. It looks like it's being eaten by the roots of these huge balete trees. Imagine, this was built and destroyed in the 17th century, 300 years ago. Yep, it's creepy in here, but there are some devotees who visit this place and offer prayers. These melted candles here prove it. Look at the materials they used. Hollowed blocks isn't available yet during those times, so they used solid corals. Look! I'll be showing you now a replica or a diorama when Kuta Shrine was not destroyed yet. 
This of course is just an artist interpretation based on the remnants of the structure. As you can see, this historic site is abandoned. I hope government agencies assigned in preserving historical structures would do something about this Kuta Shrine relic. So that's it, there are still a lot to discover about the Philippines. Philippines is indeed very rich in history and culture. I hope you loved the video, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.